on guys and today i wanted to talk about ed freaking davis and rajon rondo kevin love and this whole Cavs team you know jared allen wasn't out there tonight and they were able to look ed davis coming out here turning the clock back showing why he was a first round draft pick i don't know if you guys remember ed davis back in the day okay ed davis he was the 13th pick he was a lottery pick guys i don't know if you guys knew this but he was a good player not a good player but you know, he was a guy who came out and at the beginning of his career, he just had a, a lot of people had, thought he had a lot of potential, but he's just coming out here and doing a great job. It's like This is an example of how good the Cavs front offices and coaching staff is, is look, Jared Allen's out. Okay. We're going to run Kevin Love and Ed Davis. We're going to start the game with Ed Davis, keep Kevin Love, who's our sixth man off the bench, and we'll put Dean Wade out there because, you know, Lowry Markkinen's out also. So we'll run, you know, Ed Davis at center, who's a rebounding machine, and he'll rebound, rebound, rebound. Evan Mobley will do his thing. Dean Wade will play the Lowry Markkinen role. Isaac Okoro will do his thing with Lamar Stevens backing up Isaac Okoro. Jetty Osmond backs up Dean Wade. Kevin Love backs up a combination of Evan Mobley and Ed Davis as he takes turn. You know, sometimes Evan Mobley would come out. So Kevin Love and Ed Davis were on the floor. Sometimes, you know, it was Evan Mobley and Kevin Love. And sometimes it was just Kevin Love. And, you know, it was like Jetty Osmond, Lamar Stevens, Rajon Rondo, and Dylan Windler, I believe, at one point. Also, Windler, he was trying on defense at times. But Rajon Rondo came out there hitting them threes, hitting them threes, threw out an assist, got a steal, did his thing. Playing efficient Rajon Rondo basketball. I want to hear your thoughts down below right now. What do you guys think of Ed Davis, Rajon Rondo, you know, Lamar Stevens, Kevin Love, who should be the sixth man of the year? And what do you think of Rajon Rondo and Ed Davis? I think Ed Davis is an example of how good this team is, is that literally Jared Allen's out. Let's throw in Ed Davis. Who would in their right mind think that that would work in five years ago or two years ago or a year ago if someone asked us that, you know, the Cavs would be beating the Knicks with Ed Davis at center, okay? And I, again, I think it's a testament of how good this roster is built. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts. This shows, because I love how the Cavs are able to plug and play. Like I said, you know, okay, so Dean Wade and, you know, Lowry Markkinen are usually that rotation with Jetty Osman at the small forward position. Dean Wade... Jetty Osmond Lowry is the starter and Dean Wade usually gets the short end of the stick, meaning that like usually when they're healthy, Dean Wade gets sometimes DMPs who doesn't play as much. And Lamar Steven plays same position as Isaac Okoro, which they've been playing the shooting guard, but it's the other wing because they go just massive. Okay. And I, I think it's honestly so much fun to watch and the success that this team has had. Like, I don't, I'm surprised not more people are giving the front office and JB Bickerstaff more respect for the uh, incredible job they're doing at building this Cavaliers team and just making sure depth wise it's great. You the their weakest position and they're aware of it and they're trying to make moves is backup point guard behind Darius Garland. They got Rajon Rondo and I think they still would like to maybe flip Dylan Windler, Kevin Pangos, and you know maybe Brandon Goodwin for a guy like DeLon Wright or, you know, a Corey Joseph, you know? Sorry, my shoulder, like right here. Ooh, it is tender, my friends. Tender. Like, I don't know why, but it just out of nowhere, it just got really tender. I'm sorry that I was just rubbing it. It was. Just, I just don't like doing weird things on camera because I feel like someone's going to be like, why are you doing that? I'd be like, then I got to explain myself. And, you know, explaining yourself is always the worst. Nobody likes to explain themselves, Okay shouldn't have to explain yourself ever but these Cavs they're a good team and I really think it's a testament of how well the roster is built okay so I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section what do you guys think of this Cleveland Cavaliers roster am I wrong or do you guys agree with me that it's a great fantastically built roster but as we wrap up this video like we always do I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section let me hear if you made it to the end of the video end of the video squad guys you know how it is literally like end of the video i don't even know i'm making this to five minutes so if you guys want to stick around for a five minute you know tip off so or i don't even know what i'm saying guys my mouth is so freaking dry i'm about to go get froyo too so you know what if you guys are impeding me from getting my froyo i will be upset
I won't actually, but I will want my goddamn Froyo very soon. So that will be happening very soon. Either way, guys, I hope you guys do have a great day because I know I will. Till next time, guys. Peace. Oh.